So Gaffer, with the postponement of the Truro game last Saturday, it's given you a bit of extra time to not only work with the players, but with the new year period as well. The players getting a little bit of extra rest, is that just as important as what the training is? Um, it is for, for some of them. I mean, obviously you've got to keep them busy, you've got to keep them sharp um, if you can. And uh, with the players that are, that are here, because some of the players are playing quite a lot of games at the minute because we haven't got a big squad just yet. We'll talk about that in a minute, I suppose. Um, but um, yeah, we're working hard. We, we work hard every day. They always work hard every day. Um, and uh, as I said, yeah, you know, some, some are new coming into our re regime. They've got to learn our ways, if you like. Uh, so it has given us a, a decent opportunity to walk for a few things, jog for a few things, and then sprint for a, through a few things. And uh, yeah, we we use the time wisely. And also, obviously, we saw uh, over the, the period of the injury to Theo Williams. We got an update what the, the situation with Theo is now. Yeah, well, Theo uh, is loan time finished anyway. Um, or he had two or three days to go. So he's gone back now, and uh, obviously the loan's finished, so he'll be out for a little while, and uh, you know, Fleetwood asks, you know, and the lad asks, it's better that he goes back to his parent club, gets his treatment, and then we'll see uh, what we do in the, in the future. But uh, we were pleased with his um, you know, with his game, uh, he, he he did improve. He would have scored goals. He was quick and so on and so forth. And we had a good spell with him in the team. Um, so we'll have a look at it when we uh, when we know he's back to full fitness. Now, something that doesn't affect the national league, obviously, but does affect the top four divisions. January transfer window is is back open. Good opportunities potentially. Well, yeah. I mean, the, the, the transfer window is always open to us, except with the Premier League. Um, so we, we, it gives you one more opportunity. But if a if a Premier League boy becomes uh, available, there's a lot of other clubs around, and probably a lot closer to those people. And, and most Premier League clubs want their lads to play in the league, and so that becomes a bit difficult but it doesn't stop us trying to find these little gems that uh, you know can come in and do a job which we've we have found um, in, in the in the past and in the recent um, and recently so we're uh, you know, we're happy with how we do things and we, we got a list of people but there's a lot of other people if they're decent players that are also interested and uh, yeah and all the things that we talk about, the location stuff, and but you know we'll we'll, we'll get a group together, and we we've, we'll certainly get a group together once. You know, when you ask me the question about the injured players again, um, once they all come back, we we, we will have a, a very very strong squad. Yeah, moving me nicely on to the to the injury situation, as it is, it's only Thursday. Um, but is there any updates on any any potentials? Um, short term, there's probably uh, two or three of them that should be coming back within the next uh, week or two, maybe ten days. Um, we've got uh, Aaron Jarvis goes and sees a specialist tomorrow, and they will give us the definitive of that because he's he's now just started um, working. He feels that the he's comfortable now that uh, his injuries getting better and it's a matter of a little bit of uh, fitness a little bit of looking after him uh, for a few days and then uh, we'll wait and see what the specialist says on on how long that takes and that uh, his injury is going to be so and that's the same with all injuries you know they we, we'd be old into the specialists that either do the operations or see the player in the first place they give them a time scale um, and then they have to go and see him the specialist again and then when they see him he gives him another time scale and so and us so often you know we say when i said you know, december we was up with or people wanting come we wanted people to come back in january or hope they were coming back in january it's a it's not something you can you know 
put your finger on an exact date because you'd be holding to the doctors and the specialists. So moving on to Saturday, Eastbourne come to town. Um, Eastbourne away earlier in the season, one of our best performances of the season, uh, in a nice comfortable 4-1 win. But they've had a change of, uh, of manager. They've depart their manager has departed. Club captain Brad Barry is in now in charge of an interim uh, charge. Is there a, a slight concern that you get that new kind of manager bounce, or are you well prepared for it? Um, well, we'll definitely be prepared for it. Um, we've just got to make sure we play our game um, and that's important especially when you're at home you've got to you know, work on your game uh, with, with the thoughts of where can they be dangerous and maybe the unknown is as you sort of alluded to um, is sometimes dangerous uh, they're a full time club and they certainly um, below their uh, the league table is below their standard that they would have hoped but um, no, we've got to look after ourselves, we've got to make sure that our game's right. And uh, if your own game's right, that should alleviate a lot of the problems that the opposition might give you. So, uh, especially with a new manager syndrome. So we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. But I think um, you know, it's important that we, uh, we haven't scored for a couple of games, so we need to, we need to get some goals, and, um, as we did previous to that. And uh, we, you know, we've got a good opportunity now to pick a few points up uh, and to get further on into the FA Trophy. The problem is that the more success you are in the trophies, obviously you start missing games. Now we've already got eight games in February, which is the shortest. So they told me at school, the sh shortest uh, you know, number of days in a month. And um, so it's going to be tough that, so hopefully, we will have a bigger squad um, come those eight games in February. We're lucky enough to have moved everything into February rather than into January. Um, but we've got to be ready, ready for that because that will be a key month in our season.